And when interest rates go up, their market prices drop every time. Why don't we put some money at work for us without being crazy? Okay, that's debt securities. You can see historically, you're probably not going to have any years that are, you know, too many years that are worse than negative eight, but you're not going to have any years that are positive 20. You're going to make a consistent five, six percent total return over any 10 year period. Pretty much. Don't have to really worry about it. However, they're not bank accounts. When you put money in even treasuries, you're going to have market prices that might not work in your favor. And so we're going to look at that. When interest rates start going up, bond prices drop, and then vice versa when interest rates go down. So bonds are issued at par value, but along the way, they may trade below or above, at a discount below or a premium above. And then we'll look at nominal yield, current, and yield of maturity. All right, so we usually talk about bonds in terms of a thousand par value. That's really like a per thousand amount. You know, nobody's going to buy just that. But the nominal yield is why we call it fixed income. This part doesn't change. What if the company goes bankrupt? That's a disaster. But it doesn't happen very often. And we have a very diversified portfolio. Many different issuers in many different unrelated industries. Good answer. So, yeah, along the way, if I, if I buy a million dollars of bonds, I get 60000 in annual income. It's really two payments of 30000 But I might be able to live on 30000 every six months. Even though I just sold this conservative fixed income investor, investment grade bonds, or even treasuries, we still have this problem. This is called interest rate risk. Even though you could tell somebody that a treasury bond is backed up by the federal government, you have securities, and when interest rates go up, their market prices drop every time. So what's happening? Are you saying bond prices are going down or interest rates are rising? Indeed, indeed. And what do you mean by rates? Well, those of you who thought you were going to refinance are not going to now. Those of you who are going to maybe buy your condominium are not, you know. You were looking at payments based on 3.5%. Then the Fed saw inflation through those economic indicators. They jacked up interest rates 3% at their next meeting. And now your interest rate is 65 And the payments are just not even possible. So this is a disaster. No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that's one thing that happens. But think creatively. What else is going to happen? Well, you get in a bond fund typically a monthly dividend. So if you're in your 40s or 50s, this is okay. You're now taking your interest payments and reinvesting at higher and higher rates. If you sold, you'd lose money, even on treasuries. You know, you could have put in a million on T-bonds and they're only worth 850 grand now. Yowza. Maturity is even higher than current yield. So current yield is just $60 divided by market price. 60 out of 800 was 7.5%. And then yield of maturity is higher than that because we're factoring in the extra 200 you get at maturity. So the nominal yield doesn't change, but then the market price is due because of interest rate moves. So in the first case, the current yield was pushed down. We haven't seen that yet. This is what we're looking at. Anytime the current yield has been pushed up, that's because we're just saying the market price is down. Well, wait, why did this happen? Interest rates and yields are up, pushing bond prices down. If rates go down, market prices go up. So that's what's going on now. Interest rates are so low right now that bonds issued three or four years ago are trading above par. They're trading at a premium. If you were to sell this bond now, the next guy would have a current yield below six. Why? Rates are down. The Fed is trying to help. And again, if you're paying 1100, you're still just getting 60 per. 
So it's 60 out of 1100, current yield has to be five point something. It's whatever 60 divided by 1100 is. But you also know it has to start with something lower than six. Is this great news? Not really. I mean, the NAV is temporarily up, but as we reinvest, we keep getting lower and lower rates. That's reinvestment risk. So interest rate risk is rates up, price down, but then if rates go down and stay there, you've got reinvestment, that's reinvestment risk, you know, coming home to roost. Coming home to roost, anyway. And yield of maturity is even lower than current yield because if somebody bought your bond at a premium, he would still just get back the par value. So we would factor in the $100 loss over time, even though we're not gonna do a lot of math. This is just conceptual. When rates go up, that means yields go up, push, you know, and market prices go down. When rates go down, that means yields are down below nominal. And that's also because of or related to the market prices rising. Are rates down or is market price up? Yeah. But to me, it makes more sense. Just blame it on the Fed. When does it look like that? When the Fed's fighting inflation, when the economy is just taken off, like during the dot-com craze, interest rates tend to go up. Everybody wants capital and they're willing to pay a little more for it. Then the Fed might try to slow things down by raising interest rates. Well, again, mortgage rates are too high for us to take out a mortgage. That's what the Fed intended. But if I'm a bond investor, even though my market price is down, I kind of like reinvesting at higher and higher yields. So it's always a mixed bag. I, I'm not that excited when this happens. Yeah, my bond price is up, but if I sell, I'm going to be right back in at, at a lower rate. And in, every time I receive an interest payment, right now I'm reinvesting at a lower rate because the Fed is helping by pushing down rates. The only way to get the yield on the secondary market up is price down. This is trading at par. And here's our answer. The only way that it can be trading at a lower yield is at a higher price. That's the same thing. Why is that happening? Interest rates are going down on everything. Bonds, their yields, mortgage rates, 